All right, SummerSlam 2014 is just around the corner. And I, Marvelous Mark, thought, he'd, I thought I'd take a little bit of time out of my busy schedule to do a little preview video. So, here we go. The kickoff match is RVD against Cesaro. I don't really care, but I, I'm i guessing RVD is probably going to win this match. Probably because Cesaro is just getting de-pushed and he hasn't, for whatever reason, he, they're just not pu pushing him right now. So... RBD is probably going to get the victory here. Bray Wyatt against Y2J. Um, the, the match at Battleground wasn't it, it wasn't anything spectacular, but I don't think they put on their best show. I think this match has a has potential to be one of the uh, show stealers of the night, if you will. And. Y2J was the he was victorious at Battleground, so I think I would have to think Bray Wyatt goes over here at SummerSlam, and at least he better. Otherwise, he's gonna. Ugh. I don't I don't want to think of what if, but but anyway, the flag match between Jack Swagger and and Rusev. Swagger, I think, will go over on this match. <laughs> It, this, this is this match has kind of had an old school build to it. I mean, I mean, go back to the mid '80s when you had Corporal Kirchner and you had, uh, yes, I know I'm dating myself here, and Sergeant Slaughter against the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov or something like that. But other than that, Swagger, Swagger could win this match. I think, and I think he will, because Rusev doesn't have to get pinned, and that way you're protecting him. So. I think Swagger wins this match. Then, Stephanie McMahon against Brie Bella. <laughs> oh, gosh. They really built this up to be like a fucking big deal. And, and therefore, um, God, this Megan Miller crap. She's a worse actress than Claire Lynch. I mean, seriously. This is obviously where they stole this. They stole this from the TNA when... With, with the Claire Lynch and AJ Styles fiasco storyline. It's just like, Megan Miller's supposed to be, uh, supposed to be in Daniel Bryan's physical therapist. And he was supposed to be uh, cheating on Brie Bella with her. Gee, don't you think Daniel Bryan could get somebody better than that? I mean, seriously. I mean, she's, she's about as bad as Claire Lynch, and she's about as bad of an actor or actress, and... Well, uh, basically, she's as bad of an actress as Brie Bella is. So, I'm really hoping to God that Stephanie McMahon wins this match, even though I really don't give a shit. Okay. Roman Reigns against Randall Keith Orton. Oh, boy. I would have to think Roman Reigns goes out over in this match, because even, even, even though Randy Orton is one of the members of the Breakfast Club... He will still put somebody over from time to time. Unlike some other members of the Breakfast Club who will remain nameless until later on. But, but as far as Roman Reigns goes, he needs to get himself into shape. He, need, he, he, hasn't, he hasn't proven he can go longer than about 12 minutes. Which, which is actually longer than your average teenager with his first time. But anyway, I digress. He really needs to get himself into shape if they're... If they're gonna still attach the rocket ship to his ass, so. But anyway, I think I think Reigns will go over on the, in this in this match here. So, anyway, I will continue the Miz against Dolph Ziggler for the IC title. This is another match I really don't care about. If I was one of those IWC fanboys, I would I'd be all for Dolph Ziggler winning this, but Dolph Ziggler ain't winning this match. The, the Miz is going to retain, and he's going to go over, and he probably won't even get hit in the face. Because, you, you know, he's got to protect that moneymaker, you know. Anyway, then, probably, probably the match I'm most looking forward to in the on this whole card, Seth Rollins against Dean Ambrose. I mean, this is, even, even with the hokey shit that happened on Monday Night Raw last week, or... Ambrose bust out of the package. You, you, you knew that was coming when when Rollins is up on the stage going over Hulk Hogan's birthday gifts. You know, 
And you know he's gonna bust out of one of them. But anyway. But that still doesn't take away from my excitement for this match. I... But I'm, I'm just... But a Lumberjack match, though? I mean, I, I get that Ambrose would want to do that just because Seth Rollins is continuing to run from Ambrose and all, but couldn't you have done that in a steel cage? You could have you could have could have accomplished the same damn thing. But anyway, I think Rollins is going to go over here, and it's it's probably going to be some some ill-gotten games or something like that. But I think Rollins wins this match. Then the Divas title rematch between AJ Lee and Paige. Here's another match I don't really care about, but hey. AJ will go over in some form or fashion, and Paige will probably attack her at the end of it, but who knows. I think AJ will retain. And finally, for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, you got the beast incarnate himself, Brock Lesnar, and John Felix Anthony Cena defending. Um, oh, gosh. Can really, anybody really win in this match? I mean, I mean the build for this has been pretty well shit. Um, but if Cena goes over, then that kind of, I think that kind of takes away from Brock Lesnar beating the Undertaker streak at WrestleMania. But if you have, but if you have Lesnar go over here, then you get a part-time. And then you have a part-time guy as your WWE World Heavyweight Champion, so... Who... God, I, I, I just don't know what to think about this one, but... Anyway, if... Maybe if Cena were to win, maybe by DQ or something, and Brock Lesnar just beats the holy hell out of him, hey, maybe you'll have a cash-in by Seth Rollins, but... Anyway... That's what I think of the SummerSlam card. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. And I am Marvelous Mark, and I am out. And I'll talk to you all later.